three sisters in Mexican culture consists of corn, beans, and squash. Now we're not gonna combine them together, but we are gonna use all of them in this delicious grilled salmon dish. We're first gonna start by cooking rice. And if you don't wanna do that and happen to have one of those packets, no shame. We're gonna boil together some water and rice. As soon as it's boiling, we're gonna turn the heat down to medium high, put a cap on it, let it sit for 20 minutes. So while the rice is cooking, this gives us a lot of time to get started on everything else. Go ahead, leave the corn in the husk. We're gonna grill it just as is. It's gonna take in between 10 and 12 minutes on a very hot grill. Come back in while those are grilling. We're gonna chop up a sweet onion, some squash, zucchini, cut some cherry tomatoes in half. We're gonna mince up some garlic, chop up some fresh cilantro. Last but not least, we're gonna dice up an avocado. At that time, the corn should be done. Go ahead and bring it back in. Trim the corn right off the cob. We're gonna combine that with the sweet onions, the avocados, cilantro, Squeeze some lime juice in there, season it with salt and pepper, hit it in the fridge and keep it cool. It's time to cook our salmon. Now that our prep is done, our rice should be finished. Let's go ahead and start cooking. In a large hot saute pan with a little bit of olive oil, we're gonna caramelize some garlic, add in those squashes and tomatoes that we cut up. We're gonna saute for a few moments. We're next gonna add in the white rice that we cooked. Last but not least, we're gonna hit it with a blend of pinto and black beans. We're gonna adjust the seasonings with a delicious Spanish blend that I came up with. As usual, I'll give you that recipe. Once everything's combined, turn it to low heat, keep it warm. Now for the salmon. We're gonna drizzle on some olive oil, season it very heavily with salt and cracked black pepper. It's going back out to the grill. It's gonna take in between 10 and 12 minutes, five to six minutes per side for it to completely cook. After that's finished, let's come back in and try it out. To plate up, simply lay down those rice, beans, and squash. Put the salmon on top of that and right next to it, garnish with that delicious avocado corn salsa, and boom, you've got a fantastic meal for the entire family. Didn't take too long, and it's absolutely delicious. I've got a lot of food to eat. We'll see you next time.